am a fourth year art education major at Emporia State University. And I am Destiny Sigris, also a fourth year for art education. And I'm Roberta Eichenberg, and I'm a professor of art. This is Behind the Scenes with Roberta Eichenberg. It's really a formal uh, approach to design, but um, when the piece is finished, the um, viewer will be able to rearrange the composition and play with that um, design. Um, I've always uh, been jealous when going to museums about not being able to touch artwork. And so I've decided to make work that the viewer can touch and uh, participate with. Perfect. Can you walk us through the step-by-step -step process? Like what does this look like when it starts? When it starts, it's just a plain box. This is uh, um, just wood that's been um, you know, cut and, and glued and nailed. And then it's gessoed and sanded. And then I glue um, small pieces of paper that were old um, wedding invitations um, cut up into a um, kind of matrix. And then over that, um, I gesso and sand to give it a distressed look and then trace and draw on that surface and paint um, using stains to give it that kind of dual color. Mm -hmm. um, this is really kind of the beginning of it. Um, it'll get thicker and thicker and, and eventually be completely covered with wax. us about the interactive quality in your piece? Yeah, um, so these, these are lightweight boxes uh, made out of wood and um, I've attached or will glue um, these ne neodymium um, magnets, you know, high performance magnets on the back, which will um, be used to um, attach them to a wall uh, panel that's made out of metal and there'll be four, one on each corner and the viewer will be able to come up and um, you know, move them around, slide them around on the panel and rearrange the composition so that uh, you know, they make some other design. Um, I'm also thinking about including some type of um, Instagram account or something where they can send the photograph of their design and log that, um, kind of uh, record all of those different combinations um, and compare them because I'm always looking at what looks better you know why does this look good what is the uh, composition what's the ratio of, of light to dark and dark to light and, and shapes to other shapes and mm -hmm. so it's really just kind of a um, design exercise so why was it important for you to have it be interactive for your viewers um, just because uh, I think the viewer is a lot of times left out mm -hmm. uh, of the process and uh, this is a way to um, involve them and give them a chance to feel like they're part of it. not only participating mm -hmm. but artistic too. They're making mm -hmm. decisions uh, on composition and design and what they think looks good or, or um, fits well. Mm -hmm. You have um, your materials are recycled. What is the significance of using recycled materials in your work? Um, well, I think we're such a throwaway society that um, I decided to be, you know, a little bit more conservative. And uh, I also teach that in my classes to take advantage of materials that are um, prevalent or uh, bountiful or donated. Mm -hmm. And so um, I think it's really important to be considerate of, you know, the materials we use and, and mm -hmm. or um, use up. Um, a lot of this is collected from the um, wood shop here on campus and uh, then cut up and, and assembled into things that I'm going to use. Um, some of the pieces are from just my history, my wedding invitation, and, and uh, which is printed on really nice paper. I just thought I would incorporate it as a kind of a background. Mm -hmm. um, it brings, it also establishes more, you know, personal meaning and uh, pulls that into it. And uh, it, repurposing materials is, is, I think, 
it's been really popular, but I think it's even more important now than ever mm -hmm. um, to revision things, re envision things, um, to see value in things that otherwise we throw away. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a moral thing for me. that there is a repeating element of hexagons and the honeycombs. So would you like to explain to the viewer why you incorporated that and why that is in your message? Um, I think another underlying theme for these is order. You know, it's, it's a way for me to um, organize life, my life, hectic, crazy life, mm -hmm. um, and give structure to something that's kind of chaotic. Um, it is still chaotic, but it's still kind of organized. And, you know, the organizational properties of bees and uh, working together is a, a really powerful symbol and important to me because I think, you know, we work together as um, a culture. Um, we get a lot more done that way. And I am a doer. I make things um, and I do things. And, and uh, it's kind of a representation of that. And it just becomes kind of an overarching um, thematic design mm -hmm. in everything. So, Thank you for having us in your studio and for explaining the thought process and the steps in your piece. So, is there anything else that you would like to add about your piece? Oh, not really. Just uh, check one out up in the gallery up in um, King Hall. And thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, this has been Behind the Scenes with Roberta Eichenberg. Thank you.